What's up guys, got another uh, DraftKings video, haven't done one in a while, well actually not a while, but you know, since uh, UFC 196 where I did win some money, you know, because I picked Diaz, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, talk about this card, uh, this is a UFC Fight Night card, the uh, Hunt vs. Mirror as the main event, so let's go ahead and get started guys, give you guys my picks, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with a really huge underdog, I'm going to go ahead and go with Brandon O'Reilly, now... Mostly, I'm picking him just so I could have, you know, a lot more uh, extra money for way better, you know, fighters. But, you know, uh, you never know. You know, he might he might be able to, you know, maybe get a decision win against uh, Joban. But it is a very big, uh, you know, long shot since Joban's a really good striker. Uh, but O'Reilly does have the, uh, the clinch game going for him. So, you know, you never know. He might be able to get um, Joban against the clinch. And, you know, maybe dirty box him or maybe even take him down, guys. So, you know, there is maybe, you know, just a, a slight chance, you know, that he could get a win here. But really, I'm just using him so I can get um, way better uh, other fighters, you know, that will guarantee me a lot more points. So, you know, this is a really, uh, really hard pick here, guys. You know, like, it's a really like a long shot pick. So I know maybe some of you guys might not want to pick him. But, you know, a lot of people are not going to pick this guy. So, if he does win, just imagine that, you know. He's he's going to get points. And everybody who picks Joe Ben are going to go down the ladder. And this lineup, guys, I'm, I'm going to use it on uh, GPP. I don't really play uh, cash games. So, yeah, guys, I'm picking him also because of his durability. So, I mean, he could just survive, maybe win a round. Or maybe even win two rounds and maybe get, get a split decision win or just maybe even a unanimous decision guys so you just never know so I'm going ahead I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with uh, O'Reilly guys I know it's a long shot pick but you guys don't got to use my lineup um, now we go on to my next pick this is a really you know really solid pick very overpriced pick though I'm gonna go ahead and go with Antonio uh, Carlos jr. now this guy is almost 100% sure uh, sure uh, a guaranteed win you know this guy here uh, there's no way his opponent will be able to beat him anywhere because if Kelly goes for his uh, judo takedowns Carlos Jr. is good on the ground so he could tap him out and if it stays standing Carlos Jr. has longer reach and he's gonna be the better striker and potentially finish Kelly you know I'm not I'm not giving no chance at all to Kenny at least uh, or to Kelly I mean at least to uh, O'Reilly I do give him a small chance to win but Kelly uh, I just don't think that's gonna happen so I think Carlos Jr. here is gonna get a finish and yeah I think he's gonna give us some points here guys I know a lot of people are gonna probably pick him cuz you know he's like one of the most expensive uh, fighters on this uh, on this card but you know what he's he's almost guaranteed points here guys I'm pretty sure he'll get a at least a second round finish if not a third you know but I, I see this being a finish, and yeah, I think Carlos Jr. here probably gets a TKO if they standing, or if uh, Kelly here decides to take him down, which I doubt, then he's going to get tapped out. So yeah, guys, Carlos Jr. is a very uh, solid pick here. And yeah, even though he's expensive, he's going to be worth the money, especially you know with, with his finishing, finishing ability on the ground. Alright, so for my next pick, I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, another finisher here. I'm going with uh, James Tehuna. So James Tahuna here is fighting uh, Steve Bosse who, well, he got knocked out his last fight in like 25 seconds. And, you know, Tahuna's coming off a long layoff, but he's just the overall better MMA fighter. Also has very good power. Bosse has good power too, but, you know, I just I just kind of doubt, you know, he's going to be able to, to land it on Tahuna. You know, Tahuna's just too experienced. And, yeah, I just think Tahuna's going to be able to just smash him, guys. I think he's going to be too much. And yeah, I see I see Tehuna finishing Bosse. Most likely, if not in the first round, then I say for sure the second round, guys. I think Tehuna's gonna be hungry. You know, he hasn't fought in a while, so yeah, I think he comes in there and just straight up destroys Bosse, guys. I'm sorry for the Bosse fans, but I'm not giving him uh, much of a chance. Um, so that's gonna be my pick there, guys. He should give us a lot of points, make us some money. Um, next pick, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, Mark Hunt. Uh, he's right here on top. So Mark Hunt is uh, more expensive than Frank Mir, so you know they got him as the uh, the favorite for DraftKings since he's more expensive. 
Um, you know, it is a very close fight, you know, with Mir. It's like a 50-50, you know, because Mir could take him down and, you know, Mir could just tap out Mark Hunt or just, you know, beat him up on the ground or whatever, like with, uh, like what Stipe did to, uh, to Hunt. But if it stays standing, then, you know, Mark Hunt has that chance to, you know, to knock out Mir, which is what I'm hoping for with this lineup. So, I, I really think if it stays standing for too long, you know, Mark Hunt will clip him. And yeah, there there goes Mir. You know, he's probably most more than likely gonna get knocked out if he gets touched with one of those uh, you know, one of those right hands from Mark Hunt. So yeah, guys, I think uh, Hunt's a pretty solid pick here. Uh, but you know, if he loses, then he's gonna get finished, guys. I just don't think this is gonna go to decision. So you know, there's a risk, uh, obviously playing Hunt, but this is a GBP lineup. I mean, I'm, I'm dude, this is this is a pretty risky lineup putting uh, O'Reilly on here. But you know, you gotta take a risk sometimes. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead with uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, Mark Hunt, and yeah, I think he gets the job done and probably finishes uh, Mir in the first, if not second round, guys. And yeah, he's gonna give us a lot of points. All right, uh, a lot of people are gonna be picking him though for GBP, so you know, just take note of that. But all right, let's go ahead and give you guys my final uh, final fighter. Nine thousand nine hundred salary left, and guess what? That's how much Hom is. So Hom here. Uh, not really much of a finisher so you know you're probably thinking why pick Hom but you know she is fighting a, another good fighter uh, Rawlings but she's gonna be the better striker here I believe uh, Hom here has way better striking also she's very durable she's fast uh, good footwork good movement and also you know seems like she has some some decent power in that left hand now uh, more than likely this fight will go to decision guys because uh, Rawlings is very tough also but you know you just never know she might get a finish but yeah I just see I just I'm picking her mostly also because of her output and you know a lot of significant strikes she'll land pretty sure she's gonna be able to land them on on Rawlings who likes to stand and bang also so you know if she wins and it goes to decision I'm pretty sure she'll, she's gonna land plenty of uh, significant strikes which will, which will give us a lot of points which is mainly the reason I'm picking her guys now, if you guys don't like that, you know, that I'm picking her, maybe go with, uh, let me see, go with someone else, like, uh, maybe like, a like a Johnny, uh, Johnny Case, I think that's his name, yeah, so maybe go with Johnny Case, guys, he's a Jefferson Case, that's kind of weird, uh, no, his name's, uh, uh, Johnny Case, sorry guys, I'm looking at the DraftKings app, uh, but yeah, you can go with, uh, Johnny Case, also, if you don't like, uh, you don't like Hom here, but, uh, more than likely, I think Hom's gonna get this win, and Case is also a new, another uh, good choice here, guys. And he is a finisher, so you could you could go with Case, guys. You know, this is just my lineup, and yeah, I think Hom here should bring in lots of points. So yeah, guys, this is my lineup. I got O'Reilly here uh, on my lineup. I know he's very risky. A lot of people are not gonna be picking him. I'm just hoping he could at least maybe get a split decision win or you know something like that. But it's gonna be a long shot because Joe Ben is a beast. Uh, you know he's a beast and he has very good striking so yeah that, that's a long shot guys but the next all the rest of my picks are very you know high possibility of wins here junior almost guaranteed win tahuna almost guaranteed win the hunt one uh, could be you know half and half but you know you got to take a little bit of risk there hum i think that's all all, all uh, i think that's also another uh almost a guaranteed win there guys so there's a lot of potential here with this lineup you know the the only one that I could see really 100% or not 100% but you know more than likely losing is O'Reilly. Uh, the rest of everybody else I think you know it's going to be an easy 4 out of 5 right here you know winners more than likely. O'Reilly is one of those long shot picks so I could afford all these other you know great fighters. So yeah that's all I got to say guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have enjoyed DraftKings I got the link below in my description. You know you guys could join uh, play MMA Fantasy you know potentially win some money and yeah it's pretty fun you know playing uh, DraftKings and whatnot I do got other multiple lineups but I so, you know I'm not gonna be sharing those guys so yeah I'm just you know giving you guys this lineup and I think it will most likely do good or do pretty good you know so yeah guys that's all I really gotta say I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and catch you guys on the next one